Hello everyone, welcome to Clean Coder YouTube channel. So if you are visiting this channel for the first time, I would highly recommend you to please subscribe to this channel because I post tutorials related to uh, really, really good lead code problems uh, very frequently on my channel. So today we are going to solve uh, problem number one to one, best time to buy and sell stocks. So let's check the lead code for the problem statement. Which tells like you are given an array of prices where price of I is the price of a given stock on I day. And you want to maximize your profit by choosing a single day to buy one stock and choosing a different day in the future to sell that stock. And we are supposed to return the maximum profit which we can achieve from this transaction. If we cannot achieve any profit, uh, we can return zero. Okay, so what, uh, what conclusions you can draw from these statements is that uh, you can at most do a single transaction. And you are supposed to return the maximum profit, which you can take out from the from that transaction. And like the market could be uh, monetarily decreasing also. So in that case, it might be possible that uh, you can't make any profit in that market. So you can return uh, the maximum profit as zero in that case, in which you didn't execute any transaction. So enough of explanation. Let's check this example. Uh, input prices uh, 715364. Okay, we'll check this test case uh, on whiteboard. Don't worry, we'll cover these examples on our whiteboard. Let's check the constraints first. So, prices dot length is between 1 to 10 to 5, and uh, individual price could be between 0 to 10 to 4. It means everything is in the integer range, so we need not worry about the uh, data types such as long. Let's move to our whiteboard. Okay, so this is the uh, like prices which are given, which they have given to us. Like this, this is the day zero, this is the day one, this is the day two, and so on and so forth. And these are the prices which could be uh, in that market. So what we are supposed to return is we are supposed to return the maximum profit which you can uh, make in this market by executing at most one transaction. Okay, so clearly what you would do, you would you would act greedy. You want to purchase the market at the least price okay you want to purchase your stock at the least price and you want to sell that to the at the maximum price okay so you'll purchase here and you'll sell here so clearly you are going to make a profit of 600 but uh, it's not going to be trivial in each case and i'm going to tell you why let's check the some other examples for uh, pro profit maximization okay so in this slide i have put some examples let's study this so what is going to be the maximum profit which you can make in the market, which is like this? By the way, this is the first test case which they have given in the example. So again, we'll follow our strategy. We'll try to buy at the minimum most price, which is this. And we'll, we'll try to sell it at the maximum price at this. But you would argue that this is the price greater than this. But they have given the constraint that you can't sell before you buy. So we need to buy before we can sell. So this is the maximum profit you can make in the market. So the profit which you'll be able to make is six minus one. Okay. So the profit which is going to make is six minus one equal to five. So let's check the next example which they have given to us. Okay, so this is the market. This is monotonically decreasing continuously. So what is the profit which you are, which you can make in this market? Clearly, you can't make any profit in such a market because whenever you uh, execute a transaction, you buy a stock, and clearly, whenever you are going to sell, you are clearly going to make a loss-making transaction. So in such test cases, you are going to make a maximum profit of zero. So let's check one more example, and after this, I'll tell you the strategy which you can follow in this type of questions to calculate the maximum profit. Okay. So what is the maximum profit which you can make in this type of market? Okay, so you will clearly say that I'll buy at this price and I'll sell at this price, and the profit which I'm going to make is six minus one equals to five, which is correct. Which is correct. Okay, so now I'm going to tell you a strategy which you can use to calculate the maximum profit in such a market. So, how we can calculate a profit by walking on this graph a single time okay we are just going to do a single traversal of this area and we are going to find the maximum profit which you can make in this market so what i try to do is i try to point my minimum pointer to the minimum most 
absolute price available in this graph. Okay. So initially my minimum pointer would be pointing to the first day. Okay. So my minimum pointer is pointing to the first day, which is day zero. Okay. So as I move on this graph, okay, when when I reach here, okay. So I check the price. So clearly the price on day one is greater than price on day zero. So I need not change my absolute minimum pointer. So it still points here only. But here I can check the profit. Like if I execute this transaction, what is the profit I'm going to make? So the profit which I'm going to make is uh, this value minus this value. Okay, whatever it is, this is the profit I'm going to make. You can put that here because we'd be maximizing that profit. Like if this profit is assume, assuming one, we are going to maximize this profit and we are going to minimize this uh, absolute minimum. Okay, now let's uh, move to the next day. Okay, this day. So again, this day has price greater than that of previous day. So we could have booked our profit like this also that we are selling on this day and buying on this day. So the profit which we could have been booked is five minus one, which is four in that case. So I'll maximize my maximum profit, which is four. So I'll move now to the next point, which is this. Okay. Now again, this is less than the previous point. So this could be a potential minimum, but this is again greater than my absolute minimum. So I will, I won't update my minimum, but I'll try to check if I can make the maximum profit out of this. So profit, which I will make out of this is three minus one, which is two, which is clearly less than uh, four. So I won't change my maximum profit. Similarly, I will go forward. And uh, at this point, uh, I won't change my absolute minimum. So at this point also, I won't change my absolute minimum. So when I reach this point, I need to check like whether my this point is less than my absolute minimum but again it is greater than the absolute minimum and the profit which we can make is three minus one two which is clearly less than four so i want to update my profit so again i'll move uh, forward so at this point again i'll check whether this point's minimum is less than my absolute minimum which is not and the profit which i would be making if i do this transaction is uh, Two minus one one, which is clearly less than four. So again, I'll move to this point. Now there's the interesting point. So this point is greater than previous point, first of all. So this can't be the absolute minimum. Okay. So my absolute minimum is this. It means and the profit which I can make is six minus one, five. It is clearly greater than this four profit. So I'll update this as five. So this is the algorithm. Basically, we are trying to do a single pass of this array. And in that single pass, we are minimizing this minimum value. Minimizing. Okay, this minimum value and maximizing. Okay, profit. We are doing two things. Don't worry if you have still not got the hang of the algorithm. I will be explaining in depth with code in the next slide. Okay, so this is the code through which we are going to do. Uh, before that, let me demonstrate uh, some code to you. So this is the prices array which is given to us. And if price is null or if price dot length is zero, that is array with zero length is passed, so clearly profit is zero in that case. So we are taking two variables, profit and minimum. Profit is initially zero and minimum, I can take whatever is the price of the first day. So the price of the first day is seven. So I'm taking minimum as seven, okay? Now I'll get rid of this array and I am at zero position. So I'll check if price of i plus one is less than or equal to price of i. Basically, if next day price is less than the previous day price, I get just my minimum pointer. So minimum of seven comma one is nothing but uh, one. Okay. So my minimum would point to this. So now I'll move to the next position. Okay. So. Now I'll move to the next position. Okay. Again, I'll check whether my index value at one, like the price at index one is less than price at index two. So clearly price of i plus one is greater than price of i. So I'll try to make the profit. So what is the profit? Which I would be able to make is a maximum of profit. Profit is initially zero and price of i plus one is five minus minimum is one. So five minus one is four. So the profit which I can execute in this transaction is four. Okay, now I will move to the next index. So in this index, price of 
i plus 1 is clearly less than price of i. So I'll check what is the absolute minimum. So absolute minimum between 1 and 3 is 1. So I won't update my minimum. So I'll move to the next position. 3 and 6. Clearly, uh, 6 is greater than 3. So I'll land in the else part. So I'll try to make profit out of this. So the maximum profit which I can make is uh, Man dot max profit which is 4, comma, price of i minus 1 which is 6, minus minimum which is 1, so this is 5, okay. So the maximum profit which I'll be able to make is 5. I'll move to the next index, 6 and 4. So price of i plus 1 is basically less than price of i, okay. So I'll check if my absolute minimum is uh, greater than or less than 4. So absolute minimum is 1 which is clearly less than 4. So I need not do anything and the algorithm would terminate with minimum being pointing to 1 and profit being 5. Let's discuss the time and space complexity for this uh, algorithm. So time complexity is O of n and space complexity is O of 1. Basically we are doing only single traversal of the original array and we aren't using any extra auxiliary space. So this was all I wanted to talk about uh, in this uh, problem. So there are many versions of this problem also like if I go to the lead code and let's check similar questions. Okay, so there is buy best time to buy and sell stock two, three, four, and with cool down. Like these are different different versions of this problem, and like these are frequently asked in face-to-face -face interviews. So I highly recommend you to go through these videos in my channel as I have already made tutorial for them also. So thanks a lot for watching my channel, my video, and please subscribe to my channel, Clean Coder, as it motivates me to make lots and lots of videos. Thanks a lot for.